to not lose confidence, you just have to kind of give yourself a break sometimes. That's something I learned. I never gave myself a break. I just worked so much and I was just so stressed all the time. And, and you know, not everybody's gonna love your work. There are people that are gonna hate your work. There are people that are gonna um, be jealous of, your, of what you do. There's gonna be so, so much hardship too. But you just have to, like I said, the best thing you can do is just take a break and kind of give yourself a few days to think about yourself, to just just disconnect and then reconnect to what you're doing after. Oh, yeah, New York Fashion Week. New York is a, is a tough cookie. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, New York, the thing is, um, you know, as a young designer, you always have this dream of going to New York Fashion Week or going to Paris or Milan or whatever. But, you know, even the designers that have made it big, it's just the beginning is really hard. Just to, like I said, to get attention from people to, to that your art is appreciated. It's not like uh, all the glamour that you think it is, maybe. It, there's a lot of you know a lot of other interests involved behind the curtain and um like i said it just makes your work hard it just makes everything harder i guess but it's a very good way of getting your things out there for people to see and uh if you have the opportunity of course take it do it don't be afraid i i at the beginning i was afraid i have to be honest i was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna you know be enough for this and my husband said, no, you're, you're gonna do this. I know you're, you know, you have what it takes and we're gonna do this. So I was like, okay, we're gonna do this. <laughs> I would do it again, but um, yeah, it's like, you know, it's so hard. It's, it's like pregnancy. I guess a lot of people do it again and again, but it's never, <laughs> it never stops being so hard. <laughs> um, the designer I was most inspired by before I started my career, I was in high school, so I was like 15, I guess, when I saw him. It's Alexander McQueen. So the first time I saw his runway, I remember it was a runway that was in a French prison and there were like wolves in the back or something. I was so impressed. I was like, wow, this is just incredible. You know, this mix between like art and design and everything just was perfect. And I saw this and I was like, I want to do this. This is what I want to do. And a lot of people think he, you know, he was crazy and super extravagant. And I guess he was a little crazy and extravagant, but you know, most design, most artists are, I guess. So, um, you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it's just, he was different and I liked him for that. The most inspiring thing is um, to, you know, never be afraid. I know it's hard not to be afraid, but just try it, just just go for it. And you know, if it, it doesn't work, what's the worst that can happen? You know, if you just go out there and you, and you travel and you, and you start a new job and you do different things, you can, you know, you can become a better person, a better version of yourself. Yes, of course, it's gonna be hard, but don't be afraid to try, I guess. And um, your life is never going to go the way you want it to go. That's something I've learned so much. And life is so open to possibilities. And if you just, you close yourself like, no, in 10 years, I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna have a car, I'm gonna have a house. Well, yeah, of course, it's important to have some kind of stability, I guess. But just, you know, take a chance and and don't you don't have to you don't have to be sad if things don't work out like you want them to be. Maybe they're going to be even better after. So just don't stress, I guess. <laughs> you know, just be kind to people, too. I think that's something that a lot of people forget how important it is to to just you know see the good in people 
even though it's hard because we live in a world where there's so much bad. But um, just be a good person. You don't have to help everybody that you don't know, but maybe start at your home. Start with your parents, start with your brothers and sisters, with your kids, you know, st start there and, and you know, try to like open your heart if there's some somebody that, you know, wants to talk to you, there's something that's going on, just try to be a good person. And, and if somebody, if everybody tries to be a better person, a professional, a better parent, a better kid, then, you know, the world's gonna be a better place to live. So I guess that's my message. <laughs> Dee Dee Jones is a talented fashion model and designer. Today she explains how she transitioned from being a dancer to becoming a model. Well, first for those who don't know me, my name is D'Angela Jones. And for those who do know me, I'm Dee Dee. And I go currently to the Art Institute of Houston. And my major there is fashion design. And I'm currently going to be graduating this year in June, so I'll be out of there soon. So get some customs for me. <laughs> I was introduced to modeling from background dancing, and a lot of people don't know that I have a dance a, ba a dance background. I used to dance for a local um, artist in Houston, actually, for about two and a half years before I even got really into the model game. And it was just funny, one day he had a photo shoot and I just happened to be at the house that they were having to set at. And he was like, so Dee Dee, yeah, today you're gonna model. I'm like, huh, you know, I'm laughing it off and it's like, no, seriously, we have a look for you, you're gonna model today. So that's kind of how I got into modeling. I kind of was the background dancer and the model. So there we go, modeling. <laughs> and fashion came long after that, kind of. I wasn't, I didn't never, I never knew I was going to be a fashion designer. Like I sketched when I was younger, but it was never like, I'm going to be a fashion designer until one day I was looking for job applications actually, and the Art Institute pop-up came up. So I just felt that I was like, you know, I have been dreading off like, no, I'm not going to go to school, but this time I'm like, let me try because I know I'm a creative person. I just didn't know how creative I was. So I filled that out, then eventually went in, got a visit with the advisor or whatever, and then a little bit after that, I ended up going to the Art Institute. So that's fashion for you. Walking in the fashion show. That's even a funnier story. <laughs> okay, so the first time when I walked in a fashion show, I actually lied and said I walked in a fashion show before that, just to walk in the fashion show. But honestly, Tyra taught me. <laughs> And I slayed the show, and ever since then, I've been walking in fashion shows. <laughs> I would describe my personal style as very comfortable, but always cute. Like, I never like to look not cute, but if I want to go comfortable, we're going to have to be cute still. So, definitely the, the two C's. <laughs> Before starting my journey as a model, I wish I knew how time lengthy it could be. Because when I, when I first got into it, like I said, I was a background dancer at first. So it was kind of living both of the lives, but not really doing my own thing because I was still working with the artist. So after I stopped working with him, I became freelance on my own. So I really got to experiment and do my own thing. And I'm like, ooh, feels like I've been experimenting, doing my own thing for a while now, you know? So just knowing that, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. You definitely have to put your work in. You have to network. You have to let people know who you are and make sure they remember you, not just know you for that night, know you next week too. So they can book you and just get your name out there. So time is definitely real and putting effort toward that time is definitely real. Because if you just sit on it, it's not going to, it's not going to go any, it's not going to improve. The importance of having confidence as an artist is very important. It's just like you're creating something and if you don't believe in it, how can you make someone else believe in it or even sell it to them? Like you're behind it, you're in control of all the aspects of it. So you gotta believe in yourself or no one else will. It's really that simple. <laughs> So fashion design just kind of happened, literally. It wasn't like something I planned for. 
I was working the nine to five and just like talking about my dreams. I used to work overnight at the 99 cent store and just every night I'm like, you know, I'm kind of tired of coming here every night. So what am I going to do besides this? It seemed like that was my second home. And I was just like, I was just trying to figure out life. Like, what can I do? I knew dance wasn't happening how I wanted it to be. So I was like, okay, maybe that's not my avenue right now. So I just started exploring different things. Then background dance came about. Then modeling just kind of happened. Then modeling kind of showed me different aspects of fashion. And that kind of helped me kind of build up on it. But I still wasn't sure, could I do it? And then, like I said, coming up on that pop-up of the Art Institute just helped me pave the way, per se. So I guess you could say it was always meant for me. I just didn't know it. I'm really weird when it comes to that because like everything can inspire me but I get my inspiration from um, everyday people like weird objects at work seeing different sleeves at work because I work at Play-Dohs now so I see different type of clothing come in and out anything can inspire me what I'm pretty much saying like it just depends on what the collection aim is to be. If it's for women, men, of course, that'll vary certain things, but any object, any color, any shoe, any shirt, anything can inspire me as far as my designs. Some artists that inspire my work, it's not a long list, and it's not because I feel that I'm greater than the next person. It's just, I don't really pay attention to everything that always goes on, because sometimes if you do too much research, you'll end up copying and not noticing it. So I like I look at WSGN and stuff like that, but I don't study it to a point that I'm just every time I make a collection, I'm like, oh, I need to go check there to you know get everything from that. But two people I do pay attention to, and I know it's gonna sound like a weird duo, but it's Chris Brown and Rihanna, even though they had past beef or whatever. I do enjoy. Fenty and I enjoy Black Pyramid. I got like what they're doing and I feel like us three as a, you know, trio, we could do some things. So, you know, holla at me, Chris and Riri. <laughs> so what I've learned about myself, which is kind of hard to say, but what I've learned about myself through this journey as a model and fashion designer is that I really am my own competition because I'm the type of person that's always in my head, always overanalyzing the smallest things, which really don't matter sometimes, but I'm a perfectionist and really I'm my own competitor because I'm in control of it all. So I just have to tell myself, we got this, you know, stay positive, be confident and just keep it moving and pray about it. Definitely pray about it, <laughs> but don't just pray and sit down. You gotta pray and keep moving. Because a lot of people think just praying and sitting down is okay. It's, you could pray about it, but you got to act on that prayer. And that's the real deal. Okay. <laughs> I want people to feel very comfortable and confident when they wear my designs. And that sounds so simple. And I know it sounds cliche as well, but that's really my goal. I just want you, I don't want you to feel like hot you know i don't want you to feel higher than the next person because you have on my designs it's not it's not that big like it, at the end of the day they are just clothes and it's a materialistic object so i want you to just feel comfortable and confident in yourself and just move on with your life looking good <laughs> who is a couple of them um some of my upcoming projects are like i said i will be graduating this june also, before I graduate, I'm going to have a portfolio show at my school. We have a huge portfolio show for all the upcoming graduating students. So that's something I'll be taking part of. That's June 14th. Graduation is June 15th. And a little bit after that, I'll be working on another collection. And you'll be able to actually shop that collection at this boutique called Fiend Boutique. I actually have their business card. So I'll give you one of those once we're done. And yeah, y'all can check out and get some Dee Dee's Originals there. Most motivational and inspirational words. I'm probably already said them, but I'm gonna say them again because we forget we're human. We always compare ourselves to the next person. Is stay positive, even when it's negative. Stay positive because it won't be negative for long unless you stay within that negativity of the situation. So stay positive and be confident. Confident does a lot for like well, it does a lot for me. I can't speak for everyone but myself, but I know when I'm feeling confident about something, you can't tell me that. I mean, I have orange hair. Somebody had to tell me I was confident for that, you know? Everybody can't pull off orange hair. 